In terms of our agenda, first we'll look at the background to the changes. Then we'll cover the new notification and information requirements. And we'll spend the rest of our time on principals' responsibilities and the FCA's expectations. Currently, the information on their ARs, which principals are required to report to the FCA, is limited. It includes the AR's name and contact details, its legal status, date of the appointment, whether it's an introducer, appointed representative, IAR, and high-level information on the market in which the AR operates. The FCA believe that having more information on ARs, IARs and principals will allow them to better assess the arrangements and pr that principals have in place to monitor and control the activities of their ARs and IARs. And that will help the FCA to identify potential risks and to target their interventions. After publishing a consultation paper in December 2021, the FCA published a policy statement in August 2022. It set out feedback to the consultation and the final rules. First, we're going to look at the new information and notification requirements that apply to ARs. Then we'll look at the requirements in relation to IARs. Under new guidance, in assessing whether it has adequate controls and resources in relation to its ARs and IARs, a principal should consider whether its controls and resources satisfy five criteria. This assessment can be done as part of the annual self-assessment, which we'll look at later on. Four of the five criteria are listed on this slide. First, the controls and resources are commensurate to both the size or potential size of the AR or IAR and the nature of the regulated activities for which the principal has or proposes to have responsibility. Second, the controls and resources enable the firm to effectively manage conflicts of interest. Third, the controls and resources allow the firm to maintain effective oversight of the AR or IAR. And fourth, the controls and resources enable the principal to identify and remediate any issues arising at the AR or IAR. 